Game over, brother. Game over. Wow. Just like that, die starts tomorrow. What's up, bro? Another handshake? Yeah, up here, up here. All right. We're gonna run it back in. Hell yeah. Well, one of the trucks was that made west and I had another one over here at the harbor. Oh, so you have two? Two trucks. Right I thought there. you only had one. Hi, this is Mambo. Mambo is Hi, hey, hey, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? How are you, man? Good. Q95.9, it's Mambo in the morning and the 805 Locos on this Friday morning. And, uh, you know, Pep and I started this new thing. Diet starts tomorrow. Uh, reason we start actually you you've been doing it for a minute yeah but i kind of jumped on it because i like what you do with it man i appreciate that so so tell us what what diet starts tomorrow is all about i mean diet starts tomorrow is pretty simple man everybody tries to get on their workout kick which we all do we on night and we all support each other with it but there are those days where you kind of slip up and then the next day is hey the diet starts tomorrow diet starts tomorrow and there's a lot of good spots out here that you should cheat on your diet and one of them can be a food truck, can be a local restaurant, can also be a brewery, a brewery as well. Yeah, so uh, actually, uh, uh, we're all fans of, of uh, food. We're all fans of breweries. Uh, you always bring in uh, some dope guests. What, who do we have today, man? Today we have a good friend of mine, Javi. He's the owner of Game Over Catering. He has two food trucks and a catering service as well. So, Javi, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Now, uh, man, you you sent me a picture of their nachos, bro. Yeah, the surf, the surf and turfs, right? Surf and turf nachos. Now, uh, what 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 do you have on those, bro? <clears throat> well, first of all, uh, those cheesy beans, those cheesy beans make a big difference, man. They're uh, Peruano beans, Peruvian beans. Oh, okay, yeah. <clears throat> and um, we use a good quality cheese, and uh, so we pour it on the beans, stir them to a melt, so they're like cheesy beans, and. Uh, with asada, uh, good quality asada. We use Angus beef. Nice. Um, and then we saute some shrimp. So they're the surf and turf nachos, and we have this killer chipotle sauce that people rave over. It's just. And you've tr you've tried it, Pep. I fell in love with it. Literally, the first time that I had it, I've had it probably about five, six times. I made West when they're there, and every time I'm like, these are the best tacos, hands down. And it and it's exactly what he said that I I just remembered. It's the chipotle sauce that they put on that it's on point. Yeah, that's that that's so dope, man. So so uh, uh, it's it's obviously a, a food truck, and where where are you guys located? Uh, uh, what days? Where are you guys at? Uh, it varies throughout throughout the week. Uh, but majority of our locations will be uh, uh, we're Tuesdays, Saturdays, and the first and last Sunday of the month at Topa Topa okay. Marine Company. That's on Coast Street, the headquarters. Um, Wednesdays we're at Made West. And we just started a Taco Tuesday at Ennegrin in Moore Park. Oh, nice. Uh, where there are Tuesdays and Fridays. All right. And uh, all this info, you guys posted up on your guys' Instagram? Uh, correct. And what's right. uh, what's the Instagram so people uh, can check it out? Game Over Catering. All together. Game Over Catering. Game Over Catering. Give them a, give them a follow. Check them out. Make sure uh, you guys uh, go go support. And uh, what what is your favorite item on the menu, bro? <sighs> I get asked that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it just you can't go wrong with anything you get uh, on our truck. I mean, I even I even got a review on the cheese quesadilla. Wow, like Yelp, five yeah. star review. On the, cheese has a lot to do with it. Quality of the cheese, you know. I mean, I sometimes like a quesadilla somewhere is ah greasy, right? But I'm very picky, uh, and you know, cheese, tortilla, everything makes a difference. The salsas, uh, and I'm very, uh, you know, t the name of my business, Game Over Catering. Your stuff better be good to have a name like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> now, now uh, you, we talked about the nachos. We talked about uh, the tacos and the quesadilla. Uh, what what other kind of items do you do you have on your menu? <clears throat> uh, very popular too right now is our birria. Our birria. Um, every, everyone has different styles of birria, um, but I'm gonna tell you ours has very very good flavor, and I always tell that to people. It's, and and the quality of the meat too as well. Right. You know, it's very tender, juicy. Juicy, especially. You know, you know what I've came to realize with a lot of people, uh, especially since uh, like the birria game has kicked in um, more recently in the past couple of years, is uh, I used to have like a favorite. Yep. But now it's like it's like uh, 
there's a lot of them that are my favorite for different reasons. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah and, I, and I think you're, you're right, Javi. Like, you know, everyone has the, the, yeah, everyone the, has their own style. the secret sauce. Right. Yeah. yeah. So so it, it, it's, it's I always like to try out different different spots like that that do uh, birria their way. And I also like the fact that your spot, you guys have birria sliders. Oh yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not like a, it's not like a, like a taco. It's like it's a, it's a little, t- a little tortita. A little yeah, tor- yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, a little tortita. We started, you know, here and there we'll change it up. You know, add something new to it. Just it doesn't get boring, you know. But um, right. Yeah, but it's always tough to do the birria, especially when you have a a, a bigger variety, right, of items. Uh, for the reason is the cleanliness. Yeah. You know, with the birria, it's uh, it's, it's a mess. <laughs> It's a mess. It's but, a uh, mess, but it's good. But it's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, definitely have a a variety of uh, items. Got to definitely come and check it out, man. Javi, I got a quick question, man. I know we just uh, we were just talking about that. You guys celebrated five years of Game Over Catering first opening up. How did this all start for you? <clears throat> we used to own a family uh, meat market. Uh, we used to sell good quality meat. We used to season marinate it. We used to get our customers come back. Man. That me was fired, you know. <laughs> and do you guys cater? Do you guys do other type of? And that's where the idea came from. And uh, I used to work for a biotech company in Camarillo that was uh, that closed down. And I said, you know what? Let me try this. You know, we used to do our backyard parties. You know, do the taquisas and all that. And right. So I jumped on it. You know, started advertising a little bit on on Craigslist. Believe it or not, <laughs> uh, you know, and. Started getting booked, and you know, besides that, we own a meat market. Oh, well, they better have good, good stuff, you know. Right. And um, and then from there, next thing you know, I started getting more calls, and I'm like, shoot, how am I gonna be able to do two events in a day? Went to LA, got another griddle, and from there, next thing you know, I have five griddles. We were getting, and this is all just just like right. catering and catering, so. man. People say, wow, it's different. Right. It's just different, and. Um, I think one of the things is that we don't we don't cook with lard. I'm not saying lard is bad, but um, you eat our food and it just feels not heavy. You yeah, know? you don't want to go to sleep after you eat. So um, <laughs> yeah, so of course the flavor too, and um, yeah, from there I say you know what we're growing. Let me look for a commercial kitchen, and I was on Craigslist like at one in the morning, two in the morning, found an ad for a kitchen here in Ventura, jumped on it. And there it goes. That's where it all started. Game over catering, and uh, from there, continued doing the catering. People started asking us, uh, "You guys should open up a restaurant?" I said, "Man, we always own a meat market. It's just it's a lot of work. A lot of work. Yeah. No life, man. Yeah. You're you're there. You got to yeah. be married to it, you know." And I said, "You know what? Let me look into the food trucks." And got my first food truck. Started going to the breweries, and all the breweries had pretty much. Food truck scheduled, and they said we got a Monday, slow day, but I said hey, I'll take it. And you know, my my brother is the one that helps me out too with the with the trucks, and we would go out to the, to uh, the breweries on a slow day. And you know, for a minute, I was like, man, did I make the right decision? Right. You know, it was very slow. I said, you know, I'm gonna start giving out food. I'm gonna start giving out samples. You know, oh. start so giving out samples. People come back. And they want yeah. 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 to you know? <laughs> that was really good. And um, yeah, and then from there, you know, more breweries, the word spread it and word of mouth, man. And next thing you know, all the breweries started hitting us. Hey, we hear a lot about you guys. People have bring, brought you guys up a lot. And and yeah, we started getting So where did where did the, the name come from? I mean, I know I know when it when it comes down to a business, you know, the the the, the name and, and branding it is important. Like where does the name come from? Yeah, uh, when I came with, up with the name, you know, I always wanted something catchy. A lot of our us Latinos, we always put our first or last name in, a, right. in front of our business, yeah. you know, for the name of the business. Uh, so I said, you know, I want something catchy. Uh, I used to go out to restaurants and, you know, eat barbecues. Man, it's game over right here. You know, their, their, <laughs> their barbecue game, you know. So that was that was kind of like you're saying when you yeah, had something yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. So I was with some buddies. I'm like, man, what should I name it, bro? Game over. So, you know, we said, oh, so we started as Game Over Tacos. But eventually I was like, you know, I don't want to be just be known as tacos, taco catering. I said, I want to do a variety of uh, food, you know. Right. And that's what we said. You know, well, I'm going to change it to Game Over Catering. And 
Yeah, man. Five years, man, in business. And Congratulations yeah, on that, man. You, man. Yeah. So, so do do you guys continue to do the catering and the food trucks? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, we still do. Right now, we're. I don't have enough manpower as before when we started. You know, right. we were almost 18, 20 employees. Uh, we're right now with the pandemic. You know, I got half of my workers, which I'm very blessed. You know, to still have right. some of my workers. And um, but yeah, man, we do as much as we can. And and I'm sorry to all the. We get we get requested so much for catering, and you know people get bummed out. They call me. Is there any way? Yeah. Uh, we could get you in. I mean, I'll pay. And it's just it's just not that. It's yeah. just, You know, I want. It's the manpower I don't just that want you guys quality, need. I want good service yeah. too. Hey, so, hey, Javi, I wanted to ask also too because you brought up the pandemic. How did you have to like pivot when when the pandemic started and you having, you know, both both uh, both trucks? Well, you know what? <clears throat> Before the pandemic, I only had one truck. Uh, 2020 came in beginning of the year. I started getting so many calls, requests from breweries, concerts. I mean, you name it. Uh, and I, I said yes to a, to a lot. And I was like, shoot, well, how am I going to do it with one truck? Right. And I see that, you know, spoke with the crew and said, you know what? I think I'm gonna jump on the second truck and jumped on a second truck. I was excited. I said, I got the First half of the year already booked. And yeah, man. Uh well, February came in and shut down. I was like, shoot. I just got the truck. Right. Got the second truck. And uh yeah, man. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know how we I maintain this business alive, man. But I wanna thank all my great customers, man. They're the ones that kept us alive, man. Cause it was a it was a tough one. It was a tough one. I mean, having two trucks, you know, commercial kitchen. Yeah, man. I Not was, only that, the employees too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a tough one, you know. They were out always. It was one of my most stressful years of my life, I think. Yeah, I think yeah. I think a lot of yeah. businesses went through it. And one one thing too that that we've uh, discussed, a lot of people find uh, found their uh, their side hustle and turned it into a business too. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah. so that's a good thing that came out for a lot of people that now have a a, a, a business out of their side hustle. And also too, uh, you. When that happened, you still stayed locally. Did you have to travel anywhere else to try to get more work, or was it mostly just? You know what? I'm gonna be very honest with you, man. That year, you know, I have a good relationship with a lot of the breweries, and I said, "Hey, is there any way we could still?" uh, Because the breweries were closed as well, but they were still selling uh, uh, to go. Yeah. So you know, I would ask them, "Is is it cool if I still sit up here?" So yeah, man, you're welcome, man. You're one of the favorites here, and uh, but yeah, you know, people didn't want to come out and just. Yeah, it was a tough one, man. It was a tough one. It was definitely a year that we made no money. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, but we were still out there hustling, you know, trying to trying to feed people. But you're 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 up and running now, yes, and you're sir. still you're still going strong. And uh, 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 on this Friday, where where are you at? This Friday, uh, I got one truck at Poseidon Brewing Company. Okay, uh, we're there every Friday. Those are one of our first breweries that we started setting up. That we have a really good relationship with them. What, what time is that at? Uh, we're there from three o'clock to eight thirty, and then you're also at uh, Topa on uh, Saturday uh, from noon to seven thirty, and then uh, first and last Sunday at Topa also, right? Correct, correct. And you're saying that's the one on on Colt Colt Street? Yeah, that's the headquarters, the big one with the big uh, lot. Okay, and make sure you guys uh, give them a follow. Game over catering on Instagram. Uh, they always post up what they're going to be at. They also, I mean, I, I'm warning you now, man, if you, if, if you have an eight, you're going to get hungry just by looking at a lot of these pictures. Uh, so uh, once again, anything else we need to put out there, Javi? No, I just want to thank everyone. I was my game over family, uh, customers, man. I love you guys. Yeah. And if you're, and I'm, I'm going to tell you my, my favorite, the Surf and Turf Nachos, man. Javi, man, I, we really appreciate you coming down oh, and thank taking you for the time. Me, man. Thank you for and having me. Inspiration, man. I really appreciate the you you telling your story to the world. Thank yeah, you. man. Thank good. You. And uh, make sure you guys uh, check it out. Every Friday it goes down like this. Diet starts tomorrow with the homie Big Pep right here on Q95.9. Don't try to stop me now.